Your baseball dream is about to come true. As you step up to the plate, the stadium is filled with fans. The score is tied and the bases are loaded. The ball hurls at you at 90 miles an hour and crack, you hit a home run. As you bask in the glory, you wonder, what made that ball travel so far? More than 300 years ago, a science genius named Sir Isaac Newton discovered three rules for how things move. His first law of motion says that the moving objects will keep moving in the same direction and at the same speed until a force slows them down. When a baseball is hit, it flies through the air until it is pulled down by Earth's gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls all objects toward one another. Newton figured out that very big things, like our planet, have way more gravitational pull than small things, like a baseball. If Earth's gravity were suddenly turned off after a batter hit a ball, it could travel into outer space. Another force that slows down a baseball is drag. Drag is a type of friction. When a ball moves through the air, the air rubs against it. This is because air is filled with tiny molecules that push the ball. Newton's second law of motion says that the more force that is put on an object, the more the object will accelerate or speed up. So the harder a baseball is hit, the greater its speed. The amount of motion an object has is called momentum. The more momentum something has, the harder it is to stop it. That's why, with a home run, the ball is going, going, gone. Newton's third law says that for every action, there is a reaction. When a batter hits the ball, the action, the swing stops the ball and then pushes it back, the reaction. Don't worry if Newton's laws are making your head spin. They can take years to master. If Newton were alive, he might joke, see, my idea is making your head spin is proof of my third law.